can check real quick. So yeah, uh, going to go see this is going to be like a good like, explosive matchup. As soon as Cloudflow is able just to get him once, uh, they could just capitalize so, so much. Cloudflow already like jumping and maybe trying to catch Web JP sitting in shield a little bit too long uh, with the immediate grab follow up, but has yet to find like that nice sweet spot hit of neutral air. But there it is finally, just as soon as I said it. Yeah, oh my. Massive damage being tacked on. And. Playing it onto Web JP. Uh, Cloudflow is just doing a really good job of just like, staying nice and aggressive. Web JP is like on show of like, hey, do I want to hold on to my shield here? What's my immediate out of shield option? So, uh, oh, oh, yeah, immediate option right there, just catching him with the flip kick. And Web, who was just taking massive damage, just managed to take stock so much earlier than Carflow. Those are going recovery options sometimes. They just get really, really telegraphed, and he doesn't always have uh, the most mix of the ability to go high and low as he pleases. So, just really good recognition from WebJP. And now he's facing neutral and so really, really safely, uh, just retreating a whole bunch, just threatening so much with his jumps and card flow, struggling to get in. Yeah, okay, B reverse right there. And falling out of the side B, just not gonna work right out right there. Oh, WebJP had it, but maybe guising a little bit too quickly. Not initiating his aerial fast enough. Stalls just a little bit for Cloudflow's next option. And look at these follow-ups. No double jump. Catches the landing nonetheless. Yeah, and just, you see Web just so aggressive, just trying to strike out all the landing mm -hmm. options. And tried it a bit too early on that neutral got a punish. And still not being able to take it. Oh, ooh, both of them just able to make that back surprisingly. WebJP just making it back by the skin of his teeth. Yeah, but um, look at Carflow's damage right now. 110 on the second stock, and Web is still on the first stock. Mm -hmm. Up throw might take it right here. Yes, yeah. it will. So I feel like WebJP has like the right idea with, with punishing a lot of Carflow's falling aerials, but maybe just not fully compensating and giving Goy enough space uh, to be able to understand just how much he can move in the air. So I want to see like WebJP, like whenever he does go for his retreating side B, just a little bit further back. Yeah. Oh, and they're just both going for like nares <laughs> and fares across each mm -hmm. other. And look how from far away a uh, YJP press for the other two because that's how that's like how big uh Carflow's jumpins are. Yeah. Carflow trying to get some damage, dropping shield a bit too early. Mm, not sure about that. That might have been like a drop down beavers of some kind that he wanted. But you know what? At the end of the day, YJP is still gonna be able to clean it up uh, and pretty Nice lead for himself. Yeah, 81% just done. But at the ledge, that's just death percent from Roy. 102, that's one good side B. That's a good back lead. That's a jab back lead. That's we honestly... Call, we anything. call those chairs. <laughs> Listen, Joe can refer to any jab with guys in the area, okay? I can, I can refer to... You can do it without pain. That's still a chair, isn't it? <laughs> Potentially. Potentially. It can't be. Oh, but ooh, WebJP, such good follow-ups. And now, once again, Cloudflow landing with no jump. All right, jab out, oh, and call it, at least knowing that they're going to do neutral get up. Yep. But yeah, Roy catching the fault with a rising up air. Oh, yeah, and that, wow. that's we spot so consistently with Roy. Yeah, yeah, Cloudflow is just getting a lot of these rising up airs, a lot of falling up airs too. Look how many already, that's 57%. He's basically evened it up at this point. So as soon as WebJP is like in the corner one more time, I can see that stock being lost to one good side B. Yeah, same. All right, fair, taking it right there. A really, really good tomahawk there. Just catching WebJP sitting in shield a little bit too scared. Yeah, and you, it's like you don't want to like not be in shield because Roy can just be so scary, but you have to like just keep your movement up. All right, boarding. Try, each player avoiding each other's situation, trying to avoid the win cons. Tries to run in with an aggressive grab, but now stuck in a corner, got caught pressing, get up attack there, and just ended up losing the stock. So. Yeah, that looked like probably a buffer get attack because Web was nowhere near. Card flow? Yeah, that happens sometimes. When you like, that, if you're like thinking to yourself, ah oh, man, I want to drop down double jump uh, forward, yeah. or I want to jump for bludge forward, and you press, and you press like uh, the A button a little bit too soon. It just eats your jump. So, yeah. 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 It happens. It happens a lot. In Sucks fact, to suck. it's one of the most common misinputs uh, in Ultimate, I want to say. Uh, 
Oh, it's accidental, up there. It's, it's up, up there. there. Like with up there. accidental pivot F smashes when you want like a pivot grab, it's up there with like you know, it, it's it's up there for me. All right, game two. Ta oh, not Town City. <laughs> this is good old Smashville, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna be keeping a close card flow, just able to get space um, in on Web JP just a little bit easier. Um, but both of them just trading, neither of those being in Webb's favor particularly, but you know what? Still back at standing stage, playing nooch. Right. I like it. This car flow just playing, uh, coming out with the same aggression they had in the previous mm -hmm. game. Ooh, just double jumping back on. No double jump once again, but Color Flow just able to find those falling up things as he does. So right now gonna be controlling the stage. I feel like WebJP, as a player, he's so good at alternating between jumps from ledge and then rolls uh, based on your own positioning. And so it's really difficult to find ways to actually ledge trap him. Yeah, no, it definitely is. Okay, managed to keep the jump. Oh, just getting now these weak hits. That's definitely Wait not it working. out! He had it! That was all his, but he didn't fully commit. He faded back a little bit before fully holding in. Yeah. Oh, that was his. All right, let's see. Nair sending the wrong way. Yeah, just ended up getting the back hit of neutral. So WebJP is still holding on to the stock for a little bit longer. But that trade is not going to do it for them. And once again, Color Flow going to be sitting at a very subtle lead for themselves. And just like that, going to disappear within uh, within the moment. Yeah, just, man, just each player just blowing each other up. And Web just trying to outspace. Oh, just so yep. many fairs in space. But the goal after you get that final foil is just understanding can I get back onto stage quickly enough to actually ledge trap them? Oh. That was so good for yeah. WebJP. Yeah, Web was down by so much damage instead of like, yo, oh, I can beat you in a one stop game. Yeah. Um, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, but Colorflow just doing a good job of cornering him now, but maybe pressing one too many buttons. WebJP gonna be able to find a whip punish. <gasps> not working out. WebJP is like waiting for the last possible seconds to recover as well. No, 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 nah. no. No double jump. This is so scary, but Colorflow just able to fast fall all the way past Web. Yeah. So difficult to track uh, Roy's landing sometimes. Definitely is. Right. Yeah, back there. Oh, but WebJPC, I was really good using flip kicks to be able to cancel the horizontal momentum as well. So he's still going to be holding on to his stock for another day. Yeah, and Carflow is now catching out all the Web's aerials with these nares. Up air, not going to take it right there. Mm -hmm. I like that Carflow threatened with his own positioning and forced uh, WebJP to go to the ledge there instead of something really aggressive. <gasps> Tries to punish a tech roll in and then just getting caught. Uh, I believe that was like a down smash or maybe a grab. Yeah, so Web went for a down smash thinking they're going to land in front. And Car Flash, Car Flow, like, nah, not so much. Look for more Car Flow also jumped in. Oh, yeah, that's actually that's actually still pretty close. Yeah, ah! jump, went to the platform. And that can, like, pseudo anti air if you, like, did it early enough, but... Look how much space this covers too. There really, there really is no safe spot. When, when a guy is swinging on you like this, and this is safe on shield. You know? That's it, ridiculous. This covers a lot. If you, if you, you can try to, you don't have enough time to dash in there either, so. No. Y you just gotta try your best to shield that and then reset the situation. Yeah. But now we're on small battlefield. And this is what, from talking to Web three times, this is one of their favorite stages to be on. It's by plats. It's also not small, so you have the ability to be able to play back. Also, with battlefield height platforms, you can find really good platform extensions. Yeah. Um, and and WebJP can like make the most out of stuff like falling off it. But wait, now look how well he's playing back. But again, that that side B was so tricky. But he still just needs to be able to give Goy a little bit more space. Yeah, I agree with that. And now, yeah, each player just likes dancing around each other. Each one just taking turns like doing an aerial and shielding. But mm -hmm. it's more like they these are the combo starters that they need to find. And once they find them, they are able to do this massive damage or end the stock through them. Sets up the tech chase. Is yep. going to be able to cover the tech roll. And that would have also covered tech in place, too. Yep. Uh, so that was like a bit of an awkward 50-50. So uh, really good stuff from WebJP. That was just tight positioning. All right. 
And Web just, again, coming up with an aerial from ledge. Okay, rolling on this time. Careflow was so cognizant of the fair, just picking shield. Getting one new trailer, gonna be sending WebJP off stage one more time. And now look, he's always, if he's seeing Cloudflow's camp, pressing a button when he doesn't need to, he's pressing aggressively. If he's standing a goal distance, then he's, you know, neutral, get a thing back on. I feel like WebJP gets off the ledge so well. Yeah, and that's also to the strength of Zero Suit. Just the ability to have, like, so many good ledge options yep. and get off it, off of it. It's like she doesn't, she takes away a portion of the game. She has one of the players. best disadvantages in the game. She has some of the best ledge options in the game, relatively speaking, and a lot that you need to adjust to. You get caught sleeping once, and that's just going to be one big flip kick. Yeah, just bad reversal. And 36%. Getting that attack chase as Cloudflow ends up rolling in so aggressively. Oh, but look at these follow-ups. Yeah. Okay, the weak hits. So, one big thing that I feel like Cloudflow is doing, he's allowing WebJP to hit the shield a lot. And even though, like, you're not taking a lot of damage, more often than not against somebody like Zugasuit, it's better to try to find ways around a lot of her hitboxes than to try to shield everything. Because she uses, uh, you know, you shielding as a way to catch your next defensive option. But you know what? Cloudflow is doing a really good job of just getting aggressive there, finding the fo kill follow-up. Um, and 135. That's gonna be it. Yeah, and now zero stock, zero zero, one stock a piece, make them fight. <laughs> but look at these follow-ups. Look at the platform extension. Already 33 percent, and just chasing Bud JP down as they scramble to find a bit of space for themselves. Yeah, and using those F tilts like on shield as like a little keep away, and also just trying to scout a bit of options of what you're gonna do in these like panic lasted situations. Web keeps oh. trying to catch Cauliflow landing, we're using down smash. <gasps> Such dangerous basic web JP just barely able to make it back yeah, on. No. Just Ooh. fine. <laughs> yeah, 69% on Cauliflow. Oh, but need that to go. That doesn't kill. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. <laughs> All right, sure. Web JP did a phenomenal job then. Found the kill at... 70? Yeah. As you well. it with down smash up B. There's that get up attack again. Yeah, 69. That's 69 pre hit. Nice.